In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, LPGA golfer Lexi Thompson. If you haven't heard about what happened to Lexi Thompson yesterday, I'm going to give you a quick recap. So, there's four rounds in golf. They go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After the Saturday round, she was winning by a few strokes over the rest of the field. She's halfway through Sunday's round, which is the final round, and she's still leading by a few strokes. When all of a sudden, the officials come up to her and tell her she's been issued a penalty. The reason why she was issued a penalty is because some viewer that was watching the match on TV the day before emailed the LPGA and said they saw Lexi move her ball a tiny little bit on one of the holes. This ball move, ball, this ball movement, <laughs> this movement of the ball was clearly unintentional. She picked up the ball and then set the ball down and it was about that far. So instead of the LPGA officials, you know, watching the tournament happen live, they decided they were gonna run to their TVs and watch yesterday's match. And sure enough, they saw Lexi move her ball a little tiny bit. So, they issued her a two-stroke penalty, but that wasn't all. Since Lexi had signed off on her scorecard from the day before, she had technically signed off on an invalid scorecard. The penalty for that? A two-stroke penalty. So an official comes up to her between like the 12th and 13th hole and tells her about the penalty, and Lexi at first thinks it's like an April Fool's joke, and then quickly realizes she's not kidding. This therefore takes Lexi out of the lead, but like every classic sports story, you know what's about to happen next. Instead of quitting, instead of giving up, she storms back, ties it up, and after the 18th hole, it's still tied so they have to go to a playoff. And in that playoff hole, Lexi loses and comes in second place and loses out on $150,000. Now instead of pouting and throwing a hissy fit like most 21 year olds would do, Lexi I hope her name's Lexi. I hope I'm not getting this wrong. That'd be really bad if it's not actually Lexi. <laughs> but instead of pouting and throwing a hissy fit like most 21 year olds would probably do and I'd probably do it, she was very gracious in defeat. She said congratulations to the winner. She didn't blame the LPGA. She was choking back tears during her interview and she stayed and signed autographs for fans for hours after. She also posted two gracious Instagram pictures on her Instagram account a couple hours ago. Famous golfers like Tiger Woods, you may have heard of him, and celebrities like Justin Timberlake have tweeted in her defense. So in reality, this whole ordeal might actually help Lexi's career. Because personally, I didn't know there's an LPGA tournament going on until I logged on to Twitter last night. And the money she's gonna get from sponsorship deals and interviews is probably going to be larger than the amount she actually would have won had she won this tournament. Nobody's gonna remember the winner of this tournament. They're gonna remember Lexi. So that says one good thing. It's Lexi's grace in defeat, even though a lot of people feel that she should have won. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.